Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today, today we are going to start from scratch, okay? And we are going to imagine we don't have any perfumes in here, even though I have billions. And I'm going to tell you 10 perfumes to start your perfume collection. All of these are designers, so I know there are so many out there, designers, niche, uh, celebrities in this. There are so many perfumes, but if you want to start with designers, these 10 that I have in here, I think, in my opinion, are a must-have and you should definitely start with them and have them in your collection. So, we're gonna have a summer scent, three perfumes that are just every day, okay, appropriate for every day, three perfumes that you can wear them in the daytime and also in the nighttime, and then we have three perfumes for night out, uh, restaurants, day night, basically, yeah? So. 10 perfumes in total, uh, I love all of them and I think all of you are gonna love them. So before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and let's jump in. The first category, the summer scents. We have just one, you don't need more than one, okay? Yes, if you want to have a big collection, go for it, but I don't think you need more than one. And the best one, in my opinion, and I said it a billion times, it's Light Blue Intense from Dolce & Cabana. This is the perfect citrusy, refreshing type of scent. It's just, it's just good. It's just good. Um, it doesn't smell too citrusy. It doesn't smell like a cleaning product. Even though you don't like the original Light Blue, okay? I don't like the original. Check the Intense version. It has great, great lasting power, especially for... A summer scent usually summer scents they don't last at all this one has very good lasting power ha has very good sillage um it's pretty affordable it's not that expensive it has a decent looking bottle and yeah I, I just love it so i think your citrus summery type of scent should be if you don't already have it light blue intense from dolce and cabana next we have perfumes that you can wear them in the daytime anytime anywhere basically so we have in here three perfumes all of them very different i would say the first one burberry hair burberry hair it's very often compared to baccala rouge 540 from mens of francis courtesan you already know that and yes it's very similar it's created by him and this one just has a raspberry note in the opening that's like the main difference for me it's very sweet but every in the same time this you can wear like you can also wear it, this one in the nighttime, but I would say I would wear it probably in the daytime more. It's appropriate for any occasion. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet. It's every. It's also refreshing in the same time. For me, it's baccarat with um, strawberry milkshake on top. That's what I'm getting. Not all of all people are getting that, but for me, this is what I'm getting: baccarat rouge with uh, strawberry milkshake. So Burberry her, just the original Burberry her. The next one. One that people will say, oh, it's boring, but for me, it's just perfect, like, no-brainer, perfect, every day, um, any occasion, my way from Giorgio Armani. This, it's a jasmine and tuberose scent. I would say the tuberose is slightly more pronounced than the jasmine, but it's a very beautiful, light, sweet, floral, every type of scent, good acid power, good projection. Um, it's not something groundbreaking, but I think everyone should have this one in their collection if they don't already have something similar to this, obviously. But I would say from all of the tuberose, jasmine type of scent, this one is one of the best. It's not super expensive because I would say the other tuberose jasmine scents that I like are more niche, are on the niche side. This one is designer and it's not that expensive. I really like the bottle. Um, I really like it. I really like it. I don't find it boring. I'm sorry. It's a very beautiful one. So if you never tested this, go check this one out. It's not boring. It's beautiful. My way from Giorgio Armani. And the next one and the last one that I would say is just every day, daytime appropriate, Nina Ricci Rose Excess. This one is a cheapie, okay? I'm not sure if this one is discontinued. I'm not sure if this entire Excess line is discontinued, but this one, it's a good one and this one, it's very often compared to Delina from Parfum du Marly. Yes, they're similar. No, they're not the same. This one has a raspberry note. You can definitely smell the raspberry. It has a beautiful rose. It's sweet. It's fruity. Also has something fresh, a bit citrusy maybe. 
is very beautiful compliment getter 100 very inexpensive especially for a designer um yeah i love it love the bottle good lasting power not amazing but decent good um good projection i think everyone needs a rose perfume in their collection even though you don't like rose i thought i thought for the longest time that i don't like rose and guess what i really like rose especially this type of rose so nina ricci rose extas is the last one from the daytime collection not collection category i'll say yeah next we have daytime nighttime basically you can wear this one whenever you want it really depends how cold or warm it's outside first we have obviously mon Gerla from Gerla eau de parfum this i said it i'm gonna say it again is the most elegant fragrance ever period it's lavender and vanilla lavender is not too masculine vanilla is not too sweet it's not, it's slightly powdery it's beautiful 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 i do really like the intense version but i think the intense might not be necessary for everyone just because that one has licorice and i really like that note most people hate that note but i really like it but this just the original beautiful you can wear this one in the daytime you can wear this one in the nighttime very elegant very beautiful so yeah mongela uh, just the eau de parfum next one that we have actually we have two scents from elisab you know you know i love elisab and first we have elisab le parfum eau de parfum just original this again i talked about this one so many times this one is orange blossom it's honey it's patchouli you can wear it daytime nighttime it's very elegant it smells a little bit mature but not old by any means it's not very sweet even though it has honey but you can still smell the honey patchouli is not too strong if you like orange blossom if you like a very elegant um also rich i'll say this one smells rich okay it smells like you have you have the money i really like it elisab le parfum just the original and then i have a gourmand for you because why not elisab girl of now you know i love this thing this this is almond, it's pistachio, it's caramel, it's vanilla. Very gourmand, very sweet, very in your face. I don't mind wearing this one in the in the daytime. Actually, I'm wearing this just in the day, daytime, but I think that most people are gonna wear this one on a night out. But it's not that dark, okay? Do you know what I mean? It's not very, very dark. I mean, it's not dark at all. It's just very sweet and syrupy and thick. And that might my make people wearing the nighttime but for me if you want to smell like a snack wear this one in the daytime it's absolutely amazing 100 percent you're gonna get a compliment like it's impossible not to get a compliment with this one you you can wear whatever you want you can have like no makeup messy bun whatever if you put this one on you're gonna get a compliment okay because this smells absolutely divine and very edible so any sub Girl of now, last one from the daytime, nighttime, anytime type of scent. And now for the nighttime, sexy time, going to the club, going to the restaurant. Um, we're going to the restaurant, you can also wear this or this, but these are more like sexy time. Okay, so Jean Paul Gaultier, Label Le Parfum. Newest one, yes, I do like Label, but this one in my opinion is way 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 better and i sold actually sold my label because um, this is my baby like this i will not touch label because i have this this is way better it's darker it's more it's thicker it's richer it's sweet it's just amazing it's amazing i love it love the bottle not a small size and um, this is a 30 ml is not a big, like the most beautiful bottle but a big one gorgeous and the scent let me spray it. Let me actually spray it. Opening, very similar to Label, very similar, but wait. Just wait a couple of minutes because this one changes and this one is just divine. So, oh, so good, so good. I'm getting some chocolates for uh, some reasons. And um, I know that they listed just three notes. It's impossible. It's impossible. This thing has just three notes. I'm getting these like smoky, dark, creamy, chocolatey goodness that is just amazing i love it la belle le parfum next one la nuit trezor or saying just a la folie la nuit trezor a la folie from lancome this you know i love this one this in my opinion is better than the original la nuit trezor this one 
it's smoky, rose, a bit fruity, but with lots of vanilla, very creamy vanilla, very addictive, love it, love it, love it. People love this one, compliment getter, 100%. And the last one, and the one that everyone needs, okay, Scandal by Night. If you ever think of buying Scandal because it's a sexy scent, forget. Get by Night. This, I think this one has cherry as well, but this one is so thick and so good and so yummy. And it smells like, I don't know how, it's, how to describe the smell. It smells like sexy time. Like you're going to the club with your girls to have fun. It smells so good. Like, oh, this, let me spray. Let me just spray. Look at the mist. Look at everything. Oh, this is so good. You need this thing in your collection. If you don't like Scandal, I'm not the biggest fan of Scandal. Check this one out because this is way better. Look at the bottle. Look at the juice. Look, oh, it's so good. It smells like the juice looks. Can you see this color? It smells like that. It's amazing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. A must have in everyone's collection, at least in my opinion. If you don't like gourmands, if you don't like very sweet perfumes, okay, fine. Don't buy this. But if you like sweet perfumes, what are you waiting for? So, the last scent that we have in here, it's Scandal by Night from Jean Paul Gaultier. And that was it for today, guys. That was it. Please let me know in the comments down below what are the 10 perfumes that you think everyone, and I mean everyone, need in their collection. And yeah. Uh, these were my picks. I think I did a pretty good job. I think everyone enjoys these perfumes and everyone would find them pleasant smelling and with good lasting power, with good sillage and nobody's gonna complain basically, yeah? So, yeah. That was it for today. I'm saying too many, yeah. Why am I talking like that? I have no idea. That was it for today. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I'm gonna see you in my next one. Bye-bye.